Hello and welcome back to the Awkward Bob channel. Today we're going to do another tech review. It's a how-to setup video and we'll show you some things that you can do with the Google Home Mini. So, let's get started. the Google Home Mini. So Google Home is made in three different sizes. They come in the original, which kind of looks like an air freshener. I'll show you that in another video. We have one of those too. Uh, the Mini, which is this, it's going to be this size. You'll see that in just a moment. And the Max, which is a really big speaker and supposed to have really good sound, but it's extremely expensive. Uh, so we've got these Minis throughout the house. We love them for a lot of different reasons. We'll get it set up and show you some of the ways that you can use a Google Home Mini. These frequently go on sale for extremely reasonable prices. Um, you see them on sale for anything less than 30 bucks and you are in the market for something like this, snatch it right up because it is a great buy. Uh, occasionally you'll see one with the Mini and the Chromecast together. Uh, again, really, really great buy. So let's crack her open. Look at that. This is the first time I'm seeing this color in person. Um, around our house, we only have the gray and the white, I think. There's a charcoal, and then there's like a black. And then they have an orange, and then this really pretty blue color. So this is what comes in the box. It's a kind of like a fabric top got the rubber grip on the bottom. This is a device that will, it won't will require charging because it needs to be plugged in all the time. They do make bases where you can do them without electric. And it's kind of like a little battery pack that, that it'll plug into, but we have ours plugged in everywhere. There's that. So let's get started. As a startup uh, information, you can go through this, but we'll we'll go through the setup on this video, and then the power cord. This is a power cord specific for the Google Home, so you will. Um, I, I wouldn't use any other um, USB cable if you can help it. I don't know that there's a big difference between these and, and a regular one, but I would just stick with these. We have our power cord, the Google Home Mini, and the let's get started. And this will give you some tips on um, the setup and what kind of things that you can say or do. Um, we'll, we'll get into that right now. Alright, step one is going to be getting this plugged in. Now, if you don't have the Google Home app already installed on your your device, your phone, or your tablet, go ahead and install that now. It's a Google Home app. So we'll plug that in. First time you plug it in, it's going to light up like this. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Alright, so when you open the Google Home app, if it doesn't immediately pop up, a lot of times it'll pop up here at the bottom that a new device is found. It didn't do that for me, and if it doesn't do that for you, you should be able to hit Add. And you're going to set up a device. So it's asking you what you want to do. You want to set up a new device in your home and it defaults to the home called home. You hit next. It's looking for devices and it should find this one because it's still in the setup mode. 
multiple devices found. All right, so some of these are set up, but it's saying they're not. I'm not sure why, but this is how it should appear, something like this. When, when you go through the setup of the Google Home Mini, it's just clicking it. Okay, hit next. It's now connecting to it. Right now it says it's connected. So it asked me, did I hear the sound? And I did. I'll click yes. Now this is optional. It always asks if you want to share like device data, like crashes, crash reports, and different things to Google. You can say yes or you can say no. It doesn't make a difference. And where is this device? Well, we're going to set this up in the in the kitchen actually. Next. And we're just going to call this one Kitchen. Okay, and you'll connect to your Wi Fi. Hit next. Hit next. Alright, so if you already have voice match set up, you can activate it on the device. And what that is, is once you have Google personalized for yourself uh, to know your voice, if you have a separate playlist that you want to use on, on like Google Play Music, you can use the voice match to, to know, okay, well, this is Bob speaking, but um, we are going to say no thanks. Yes, I'm sure. And that's another thing is that you'll be able to uh, turn on personal results for calendar or other um, things specific to you. Uh, we're going to say no thanks. Since everybody in the house uses it, I'm not I'm not worried about that. It'll ask you what services that you currently have installed that you would like to also have on your Google Home device. I don't I don't have. When you click next. Ask you what your default music service is. If you want to use YouTube music or Google Play music, I use Google Play music. And what video services that you have. We have Netflix. Alright, so you're all done. At the very bottom, you will hit continue. And it's going to install an update. And now the device is ready. So we click continue. Now we click continue. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Now it does suggest some things that you can do. You can tell it to play some music, um, set you can tell it to set the volume. You can tell it to stop when it comes to music. Um, you can get answers. So let's let's try a few things. Hey Google, what is the weather forecast today? It'll be mostly cloudy with a forecasted high of 85 and a low of 69. Right now, it's 85 and partly cloudy. Thank you. Happy to help. All right, so that's one thing you do. You can ask it weather. You can ask it to play a song. Hey, Google, play Toby Keith. All right, here's Toby Keith on Google Play Music. So you control that with your voice, and it will stop the music. Hey, Google, let's play a game. All right. I have a few options for that. Mad Libs, Lucky Trivia, and Song Quiz, and more. Which one do you want to try? None. So 
So there's okay, some Okay, no problem. There's some games that you can play. You can also do that my kids like this. Hey Google. Play Freeze Dance. It's time for Freeze Dance. Here's how to play. I'll put on some music and everyone will start to dance. When the music stops, everyone freezes. One more thing, hey Google, I'll be calling out. Stop. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. See you next time. Hey Google, give me the news from NPR. Here's the latest news. From NPR News Now at 2 p.m. today. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Windsor Johnston. Independence Day celebrations are kicking off in the nation's capital. So that is the Google Home Mini speaker. Uh, the next step up is the Google Home, which does offer better sound. It has a little more bass to it, uh, but you can get by with this one, no problem. I've had both the Google Home Mini and the Echo Dot, and this one is far superior as far as the sound quality goes. Like it's for me, it wasn't even close. Um, it does come in some really fun colors. Um, privacy. So some people are worried about it listening to you all the time. Um, I think that's a legitimate concern that a lot of people have. And if if that's yours, and maybe this device is not for you, but if you do get this device, somebody gives it to you, uh, or you decide to go ahead and get it for the music, whatever. There is a mute button here. So this mute button, what it does, you flick that over and it stops listening. So it won't be able to hear you at all. Um, so that's a handy little feature or a little thing to know about. But uh, for us, I don't feel like we do anything interesting enough or uh, nothing nefarious that uh, the government would want to listen in. So, or Google, whoever has access to it, I don't know. Uh, but that is the Google Home Mini. If you have any questions about the setup, if you're stuck, or um, what else this thing can do, I can make another video to show you some other things that the Google Home Mini can do. We love this little device. We literally have it throughout the house. So um, you can set up speaker groups to where if you play um, uh, a playlist or some sort of music, it can play on all the speakers at once. We do that. It plays throughout the entire house, which is, is really cool. Uh, so there's a lot of different things that you can do with this, this little guy. So we highly recommend it. That'll do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stay awkward.